Today we're going to highlight how to set up sick and vacation in your QuickBooks employee file. To get to the screen that I'm on, you will click on Employees, Employee Center, and then pick which employee you want. Click on Payroll Info, and over here to the top right, you will see three little icons. We're going to focus today on sick and vacation. So in QuickBooks, there are two ways to track pay for time that the employee is not working. Some refer to this as PTO, others sick and vacation. If you only do one that encapsulates both and call it PTO, then just simply pick which one of these you're going to utilize in QuickBooks and you don't have to use both. For this example, we will assume that you are using both. So to look first at sick, it believes that today is 12-1 of 2007 because I am in a sample file. So it wants to know how many hours are available as of today when you are setting up this employee. So you will designate here 20 hours. If you've been using some other method to track it and they've already used some hours in 2007, you can be able to pick and enter that information in this field. Next, it wants to know what the accrual period is. How are they earning the sick time? Do they get it at the beginning of each year, every paycheck, every hour on the paycheck? So however you define that, if you say the beginning of the year and you tell it how many hours does it get for the year, in this example, 40. If you are doing it by the beginning of each paycheck, then you will put, designate, you know, here's the hours and what the maximum number of hours are. So again, our example, we're just gonna say beginning of the year is 40. The maximum they get is 40. If you want it to reset each new year and understand that the new year doesn't have to be a January 1st calendar year, it can be their anniversary date. Perhaps you're on a fiscal year that is not a calendar year and that's how you track it. So the first question is, do you want it to be able to carry over any unused hours? If so, you deselect it. If you want it to reset, then you select it. And then you can pick when their year begins. You know, if it is the first of every year, or perhaps it's an anniversary date. So you can customize that however you want. And then when do you want it to begin accruing time? So maybe there is a delay 60 days before they get to accrue it. Maybe it's immediate, but you get to pick what day they want it to start accruing. The bottom portion then is vacation. So again, we're going to assume for this example, sick and vacation is separate for this employee. So wants to know again, how many hours are available as of today. If they've used any hours in the current year, how they accrue vacation, you have the same options here. Beginning of the year, every paycheck or every hour on the paycheck. Then you designate based on whatever selection you made here, you designate how much. So it would be how much for the beginning of the year, how much per paycheck and how much per hour per paycheck. What the maximum number of hours are here. Again, you have the option to reset the hours each new year or do you allow them to carry over and when their year begins. Is it the beginning of the fiscal year, their anniversary day, your fiscal year, whatever you may designate, and then when do you want it to begin accruing time? So this is how you will track how you are setting up sick and vacation time 